Once upon a time, when I was about 23 years old, I decided that it was important to do my tax return, mainly for the fear of being arrested. Back in the day, on the internet, you used to be able to like do all of the e-tax stuff and it was called etax.com. And you just log in and then put in all of your information and add in, you know, various kinds of earnings and deductions and um, other things. Numbers, lots of numbers. And I didn't really understand why we had to do all of the deductions and numbers. And I still don't. <laughs> But on that fateful, whoa, sorry, excuse me. On that fateful morning, I was home alone because we were living in the ass, still in a different house. Cassandra had gone to work. And this was about 10 a.m. when I had gotten out of bed and was running around wondering what I should do with my life. And I thought, I better do my tax return because otherwise I'm gonna get arrested. So I logged on to etanks.com and I typed in all my information and I, I, I did it successfully. And then I went and I got all of the things I got all of the things and I put them in the computer and then I sent it off the ATO. Now after this, wait, the whole point of this story <laughs> was that I had a ponytail. I had hair and it was amazing and it was long and it was luscious. And I probably should have mentioned that right at the beginning. <laughs> but the point was I finished my AT ATO uh, Australian tax office form thingamajig, pressed the button, sent it off, paid the money, did a dance. I shaved my head. Now I hadn't shaved my head for ever before that and little did I know that I would <laughs> never again grow my hair back. And so I, I decided in my brilliance to shave my head and, and I missed a few patches. So I looked a little bit like I had some sort of operation that was going to happen. Again, because I was didn't have a job at the time and I was, um, or maybe I was a day off. I can't remember. But then I, I thought I'm gonna go and play squash. <laughs> So I went down to the, the RSL club and um, I hired the racket and I talked to the lady and she looked at me a little bit funny and I thought, ah, oh, it's because she recognizes me because I shaved my head and I looked different. But no, it was because I had tiny little tufts at the back. So I had the smallest mullet you could possibly imagine. And I went and played um, squash and it was good fun. And, um, and then I went home. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the end of my story. <laughs> so for about 45 minutes, Cassandra and I have been trying to work out how to make the lumpiest milk possible. And leaving it out in the sun for a few months works really well. But if you don't have that kind of time, a little bit of junket tablets doesn't work at all, but you can put yogurt <coughs> and self-raising flour in there. And it has a certain pancake batter taste to it. Uh, a milieu, uh, um, not a milieu, a, kind of, a fragrance an oaky fragrance. And I thought I'd be able to drink all of it and be um, making a funny video. But <laughs> alas, I couldn't because lumpy milk, something deep, deep within my lizard brain says lumpy milk is bad. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank you so much for breathing. Remember, be kind, be curious and stay awesome. That's disgusting.